Hi, welcome back to channel. Today we're going to be making a pizza Bianca, which is basically a pizza without tomato on it. So we're going to use two types of cheese. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to use some olive oil on the base, just to make it a bit different. I can't get it out, I think it's because I'm running the olive oil. Uh, I said the olive oil right! Woo! <laughs> That's got a first. Next, we're using some Flor de Latte cheese. Uh, there we go, Flor de Latte. And we're also going to put on some red Leicester, which is from Tesco. This is the finest stuff, so it actually tastes a bit better than your standard stuff. And it actually seems to melt quite nicely as well. So there we go. And we're also going to put some roasted corn on here as well, which has just been roasted in a frying pan with thyme and olive oil. That's it, really. That's all we're putting on it. That's our pizza done. As you can see, no tomato, so... Let's go put it in the oven. Excuse me, Bailey. Bailey's in the way, eh? As usual. Right, into the oven we go. With the pizza. And we'll just film that cooking, shall we? Pizza Bianca. Looks nice, doesn't it? It's a bit weird without the tomato on it because you're so used to the tomato being on it. What we're going to do, just to give it a little bit of colour, is put a little bit of pesto on it. Here in there. Which also adds another little extra bit of flavour as well. There we go. And there we go. Pizza Bianca. Looks lovely, doesn't it? So, of course, we've got to give it a try, haven't we? So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to give it a try. We'll make sure we get a bit of pesto in here and a bit of everything, really. So I'm not going to have a huge bit. Because I'm going to have another pizza all to myself. But everyone's going to try this one. So, here we go. Let's have a look at it. Here we go. We've got the roasted corn. We've got red listed cheese. We've got four de latte mozzarella. And, of course, we've got the pesto. Got a nice base as well, as you can see. So let's give it a go. Mm. It's surprisingly nice without the tomato, actually. Mm -mm. I mean, I love tomato on my pizza, but actually, that's really nice. It's got lots of different flavours. There's nothing wrong with it at all. So if you don't like tomato, then this is your perfect pizza, do we? So yeah, make sure you give it a try. Like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.